Yeah. Lock it up. We're doing it. There we go. There we go. Let's do this. We're live. Oh, hello, nerds. Welcome back to Let's Equate. This episode, we're talking about volumes. More importantly, volumes of a cube. Our resident nerd, Professor Oldington, PhD, will take us through how that's done. Hey, Bez. Well, Mr. Arlington, what do you, what's on your playlist today? Uh, I forget the name, but it's that new track. Uh, you know, it's the one where they talk about uh, all the money and cars that they have. Oh yeah, I know. it sounds familiar. I think I know that one. But uh, you know, uh, let's get into the cubes and volumes, please. Uh, right, so volume is the amount of space occupied by a three-dimensional object. Okay. Usually measured in cubic meters. So what if the object is not solid? Okay, when talking about containers, the volume is usually accepted to be a measurement of the capacity of the container. So that's generally how much gas or liquid it can hold. So will you show us a real world example? It's really simple. Since all the sides of a cube are the same length, yeah. you just measure one side and cube it or multiply it by itself three times. Don't make the mistake of multiplying by three. That's incorrect. The side of this cube measures A, so multiply by itself three times, which is A times A times A. That gives a total of A cubed with a little three above. The formula is simply A cubed with your units cubed. I must say, Professor Oldington, you're just brilliant in the way you teach. I love what you do with the cubes there. And Mr. Mm. Oldington. Mr. Oldington. That's you. Hey. Ah, hello. Nice I'm to have you back. Yeah, yeah. Nice to have you back again. But I guess that's a wrap for us today. Join us next time on Let's Equate.